well, I was dating this gal, Hillary, and uh, we dated for several years. And she was doing flips and doing all this stuff with uh, motivated sellers. And I was like, what's a motivated seller? She said, that just means they have an urgency to sell within the next 90 days. And we really like the off market, meaning it's not on the MLS. And typically, it's kind of like a we buy we houses situation. Uh, she has a company called Highest Cash Offer, and, and the deal is, is they needed help getting leads. So we took over the site, started building a lot of links and then, you know, everything from blogging to just getting on really, really, uh, whether it's, I write for Forbes, Huffington Post, uh, Business Weekly, all these different syndications. And so I started writing and getting a lot better links and my partner at Dustin and him are 50-50 are on it. Uh, we really just were able to, I'd say he's the brains as far as the SEO. I mean, he is a monster when it comes to it. And so we started getting, what we found with them is when you don't pay for a lead, <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier not to work. The lead is hard. So we made a deal with them and said, how about you guys take Phoenix and we're starting to get leads nationally. Let us sell out these other cities. So we realized what search terms bring in the best quality because we were able to find out the conversion rate on which ones were bought. And when we started to get to really, really sophisticated companies that were like the minute a lead came in their cell phone, they were on it. I mean, some people have it $10,000 call on their phone when it calls because they're, they're going through a divorce. It might be a probate lead, um, financially distressed. It could be a hoarder, uh, just behind on payments, but they're motivated to get out of there and it's not listed on the MLS. That's what we guarantee. So they go ahead and form. We've got a lot of different sites for specialty uh, to rank for certain keywords. But if you wanted to look at a good example of what we do, it's We Buy Ugly Houses, which is home investors. Our leads, I would say, I'm biased, but I think they're better than theirs because every Tom, Dick, and Harry is calling them saying, hey, I wonder what my house is worth. What would you guys offer me? Whereas our leads are, they're coming, they're filling out a whole form, and they're, they're not on the market, but they are motivated. Like I said, it's got to be within the next 90 days, and typically they want to sell within the next like two weeks. So I always advise for my buyers, look, have it go to three people. So one of you can get right back to it. We'll email it out to everybody as well. Time is of the, of the essence here. You want to show up to their house. So like the main thing of the call is not to do anything else but get an appointment out. I don't care if you think there's enough equity or not. I don't care if you think it's a bad deal. They don't know. The sellers have no idea. They went on to, to Zillow, or, you know. So go there and then sit down at their kitchen table. The biggest mistake I see is wholesalers. Wholesalers that don't have any clue on how to actually take down the property. They're not the end user. And everybody's done wholesale. Every one of the guys that I sell to, every guy and gal out there, we've all done wholesale at some point. The difference is, is you got to have different ways to get the people to close. And it might not be the best deal to just wholesale. It might be a flip. It might be lease it back, a lease back option. That, the guys that I'm dealing with typically have 10 different ways to close. And uh, I know it's a great economy right now. So it's usually in the bad economies where it gets to be a little bit more ways to creatively close. But um, yeah, we got people closing between one out of eight or one out of 12 of the leads. So, and then we've got some hedge funds that buy that close like one out of 20, but they're looking for a three bedroom, two bath, not on a busy road, but they resell the lead if they don't like, if it doesn't fit their criteria. And then we sell by zip code. So typically if there's, if you want a full city or a county, uh, we like counties. Uh, and then let's say like Chicago has some better, uh, some worse areas you probably don't want. So we can take those zips out. And then it just does a round robin. So we might have three buyers there and it just rotates. And that's, that's basically how it's done. And if you've got a problem with one of the leads and you just say, hey, this wasn't the decision maker. This was their neighbor calling because they haven't seen them in two months. You just, you just go into the system and ask for a refund and then we check it out and we fairly 10% of our leads get refunded. It's a pretty low rate. Wow. Wow. So when they are, when the leads come in, are, are they separated between single family and multifamily? So we've got single family, multifamily, uh, commercial, and then mobile home. And uh, if anybody is looking for mobile home leads, we got a lot of them. Wow. I know <laughs> there's listeners with looking for those. Mobile home with land. And mobile home with land awesome because who cares about the mobile home? The land's what you're going after. Hmm. Wow. We don't get a, you know, a few a day of those and all over the United States. And so we're doing Canada now as well. Wow. So uh, if I wanted to purchase um, leads, can I purchase just the commercial properties or, or, you know, is it just kind of every, everything that comes in? 
No, you, you fill out, it's a Google form. You go through it, you fill out all the information. We ask you, uh, there's probably about 15 things we ask you for that. We need to know where you want us to send the calls. You'd have a conversation with uh, Nick or Andrew. Uh, sometimes it's me, but very rarely now. And uh, we go over the price, it's different. It, it goes anywhere from $125 per lead to, to over 400, depending like, I know Orange County's really, really expensive uh, versus like a place in South Dakota that's really just more of a rural area. No offense to anybody out there, it's just not a <laughs> Those buyers are like amazing for us because there's just not a, a huge demand out there. But uh, yeah, you just go fill out all the information, we get you live within a day and we get so many phone calls the next day after they get their lead, they go, we're lifers on this program. And I say, did you already get a deal? And they say, no, but we've got three appointments or whatever it is for how many leads they got. And they really are sellers in a need. And that's all you said you were going to do for us. It's up to us to make the deal. But we're really going out to the house. We're going to sit down. We've already done all our research on the title and, you know, to make sure there's no liens and whatnot. So, so that's typically what I get from a lot of people is this is the real deal. You guys are doing great. And we're, we're at 200 an hour goals to get to 500 this year per day.